Good morning, guys and gals. I'm Pal, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Thank you so much for sticking with with me the past couple episodes, the past recording session, as I was immensely challenged, fraught with technical difficulties, and uh, we're past them now. I, I don't know exactly what fixed it. I changed... Oh, neat. I changed a lot of settings in between episodes, and the the Elgato issue, the frame rate issue, seems to be gone. The the audio settings are, are correct, and I'm ready to start what, honestly, uh, the recording session that I've been hyping up the most since we got the idea for it. Uh, we're going to be going everywhere this episode. You know what? I, I'm going to find this Korok before I continue talking. We, I have three agendas this episode. First and foremost, I need to get to that tower. I need to get to that tower so I can actually see the map I'm working with here. Uh, because I don't remember exactly where the stable is. Is that actually the tower I'm trying to get to is the question. What? Who are you? Who are you? Must hurry. Ah, oh, Link, we meet again. Have you found any clues as to where Princess Zelda might be? Lady Impa believes that she has found a source of information that might help in the search for Princess Zelda. I suggest you go meet with her. She should be at the new Serene Stable in North Hyrule Plain. I'm trying to reach her myself, but I'm sorry to say that I'm bad with directions. I haven't gotten there yet. I hope to get there soon, soon though, so forgive me if I excuse myself. Ha! Huh. Thank you for setting up for exactly what I'm trying to get done this episode. So, first and foremost, I need to go to, this, to that tower. Uh, so that I don't have uh, directional issues myself. I don't get lost. But... Uh, ultimately, I'm trying... I'm trying to go to all of the stables we visited thus far. I'm trying to go to Woodland Stable so that we can unlock uh, the Great Fairies because uh, I have a, a mortality problem, let's just say. Also, I think it's important to note for attention's uh, sake that I no longer have any fairies. I've, I've since run out of them. Um, I got... I got hit. Uh, farming Froxes in between episodes to try and get more Zonite. So, we're trying to uh, unlock the Great Fairies. We have to visit all the stables because we are uh, now a member of the, the Lucky Clover Gazette, and I, I, need, to, uh, I need to pursue stories uh, to pursue that quest and get the froggy armor, I believe it is. But then, also... I need to go see Impa, and Impa is apparently at one of the stables. Why is that bright? What is going on with the shading there? Is that actually lit up? Oh, there's a glowing... Where is that? Oh, we've we've been there. Okay. That's very odd. This game... This game has some lighting issues. It's, it's kind of strange. I, I'm guessing... <laughs> Whoops. I'm guessing they had to change lighting e engines uh, in, be in between uh, the transfer from Breath of the Wild to Tears of the Kingdom um, to facilitate the... What are they called? The the Bright Bloom Seeds and the ability of the player to create light. Uh, so I think in, in the process of doing that, some far-off objects or objects in caves don't quite render properly anymore. Hi, guys. I thought that... That's kind of cool. There's an elk grazing... Uh, Raising with the, the horses. I don't really need the horses, uh, although, although, let's, let's just nab this one while we're at it. Since, I don't know, I don't know when we're going to be able to get Gangle across this. I mean, obviously we need to get to a stable first, and this horse will get, oh, this is actually an objectively better horse than the one I have. However, I think it's been spoiled to me. I don't know if it, the comments told me or if uh, somebody outside the comments spoiled it for me, but there is the ability to improve horses. So technically, technically, that's something that I should be um, holding on to. The, the earlier horses I get, I think I can actually make them better. Okay, can we get not get in the water here? Yeah, but it all starts with this. This is the first step here. Because this will allow me to see the new Serene Stable. And it looks like I was right in doing this. Uh, how do I get in? Oh, just like this. Perfect. Well, let's start off this episode proper, this recording session, by launching up. 
with the creepy arms that I can't... I can't actually skip. Okay. I was gonna say, we've seen this cutscene enough that I'm, I don't feel bad skipping it, but it also looks like I cannot skip it. And up we go! This will allow us to finally see the stables and eh, any, anything else of interest. Ultimately, I'm trying to achieve an agenda, but that doesn't mean I can't explore this region. We are trying to head to the, uh, the southeast at this point. I think that's going to be an interesting direction to go. So, get used to the story not really mattering for a bit. Uh, the story is, well, as far as, I guess, the, the champions, uh, halfway done. But we have less, we have more than half of the map remaining. Where is this stable? We can finally, finally see the sky which we've already explored. Okay, stable. It used to be, it used to be the, by the mushroom forest. But it's, I'm not sure if it is anymore. We've gone... We've been on this island, I'm, so I don't need to I don't need to go on that now. We're almost too high to be able to see even with zooming, because I mean, let's be honest, look at the look at some of the stuff how it's rendered down there. It's very square. I'm not exactly sure what where this thing is. My memory is a little bit foggy, is it? There it is! That's it! Let's head towards that! And again, I'm I'm oh, I'm comfortable skipping over some stuff to get there. Although even I won't pass pass up an opportunity to land in the middle of this swamp, which had a tower on it in it above it, protruding protruding from it is the word I was looking for in Breath of the Wild. So I'm not sure what it's going to look like now. Is it still mud? It looks like it might have been cleansed. Sure enough. Oh, wait. I actually cannot tell. It looks cleaner, but it's... Oh, no, it's fine. That's cool. Oh, that's beneath the water. Um, What are you hiding, little guy? Nice. Cool. Easy peasy reward. This is a promising sign. That looks like an Easter Island head. Does it not? Do you not see the nose and the this weird stone brow? It definitely is. Okay, before before we start the Senawak Shrine, or sorry, the whatever stable this is, we're going to go into the Senawak Shrine. An uplifting device. Ha. <sighs> It feels great to finally be out of the depths. I really liked last session. I, I think it was one of the best ones we've done. Uh, but it's it's going to start getting kind of crazy. I'm I'm almost a little bit daunted by by how this is going to go down. What is You know, something I'm not exactly sure of is can I oh, I guess I don't have auto build in here, but I wonder if this little candle thing um, saves in auto build. Because there are a lot of unique objects in these, uh, in these shrines that, if I can do that... It's very odd. Can I... Hold on. Okay, let me through. I've yet to see the chest. But I'm guessing it's going to be in this room. What is going on here? There's something... There's a ball. Okay, so we're gonna need to get the ball up here. Yeah, it's supposed to go up there. And there. So there are two of them. Differently sized. One one really big, and then this is the where the small one goes. Uh, I'm not exactly sure if I want to climb down, although there's a ladder, so there's no downside to it. Okay, so we, they give us the building materials here. Those are grabbable, but where's the big ball? And what... Okay, so I can ascend here. Big balls, pass... Yeah, there it is. Oh, and this is gonna be quite the build. Uh... Okay. 
I want to try and make this in a single trip. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. We can actually... That's probably better because that allows me to beat it to the top. Though not by much. Okay. Kid down here, bro. No, get back down here. Okay, give me the ball. I don't... I don't need that anymore. Throw that in there and grab our reward. In this little door. Opened by a big ball. Opal. I have uh, essentially an infinite number of opals. Um, I don't really see much use in those, but it doesn't matter. More is always better, and we're who knows what the requirements to upgrade armor is, is in this game. We're probably going to find out soon enough, but right now it's a big mystery. Okay. The moment we've all been waiting for for so long. The new Serene Stable. Still not used to this place. Um, uh, uh, good evening. Welcome to Rito Stable. No, that's not right. I meant to, I meant to say, uh, new Serene Stable. Yeah, sorry. I just moved over here from Rito Stable, so I keep saying the wrong name. Yeah, it was a stable much like this one, but in front of Rito Village to the west of here. The big cold snaps shut it down, though. I think it was replaced by a newspaper company or something like that. Heber can be really cold, so if you want to go to Rito Village, you, you need to prepare for the extreme weather. Oh, uh, but by the way, take this. I don't need it anymore, so if you'd like to use the stable, please talk to the shopkeeper at the, co the center counter. Okay, first and foremost. Still up and after sundown, huh? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to talk to this guy to get our pony points close to the reward. And I just want to take... Gangle. Yes. Thanks for waiting. How about changing his gear? Uh, no thanks. I do not... I do not want to muffin with that. Thank you. I skipped a lot of dialogue there. But I don't think it's really relevant. Hi! We'll get to you. Where's Impa? Um, Impa, hello? You're not Impa. You're with the Gazette. Where on earth are you? That's not Impa. It. This is the stable. This is the stable all of the comments have been telling me to go to. I want to see Impa first and foremost. I know we have other quests to do. There. There's Impa. Hello. What a surprise it is to see you here after all this time, Link. How's it going, Impa? I heard you had gone missing. It is definitely a relief to see you back, and in one piece. More or less. And Princess Zelda, where is she? Well, she's kind of... A ghost, I, I think? What? She says yet to return. You have a lot of souls there. Are any of them hers? In that case, we must use all available means to search for her. Link, when Princess Zelda went missing, something else happened all over Hyrule. During the upheaval, huge pictures appeared out of nowhere. Images that sprawled across fields and hills. And my own house was a heck of a thing to clean. We are calling them geoglyphs. I understand that they have been found in locations across the kingdom. Kado and I are traveling from region to region in hopes of seeing them all. I noticed this geoglyph from a distance while I was standing on high ground. You have no idea how much I smoked to get that high. Examining up close, I would not- I couldn't make out what it depicted. I thought it- <laughs> Excuse me. I'm old. And 
I smoked a lot before I saw you. I thought I might have a better view from up in the sky. So I took to the air. Then the wind struck and ruined my high. I had racked my brains for ways to find more weed to no avail. Okay, doesn't seem to be much of a problem because I have the power of the ball. I could summon the ball. Uh, we're just going to pretend like some of the stuff. Oh, never mind. It works. I don't have to show you the secret that I've been plotting. Build. And oh, this one has fire built with it. I've I've never actually I don't think I've ever actually used this particular uh, uh, schematic. Uh, let's get a fire fruit up in this his house. I'm kind of running out of them. That's decently fast enough. Wait, hold, wait, wait, wait. Okay, I was gonna say, wait a minute. Do I need to talk to her before doing this? Because um, I'm just going up, and I, I, I think I blanked. I think I lost all memory of her saying, "Okay, yeah, okay, yeah." <laughs> thank you, thank you, game, for covering me. Okay, thank you, game, for covering me. Uh, that <laughs> was a little bit silly. Hmm, starting over. All I need is a clear view of the geoglyph. Try to move us straight upward without going in any other directions. Oh, um, hmm, I forgot. I actually, I forgot the most important thing. I'm glad she called me back. Um, yeah, I, I need, I need this. Like, how are we, how are we gonna get up that high without, you know, the proper, the proper lift, you know, like, I, do you know how? I don't know how, like, this is the only way to do it, so, we're just gonna place that there, yep, 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 you're seeing, are you seeing the vision, the shrooms that are nearby, um, and then, I think most importantly, we gotta, we can't just go natty pu puff shrooms here, right, we, like, we gotta chase it with something. We gotta rinse it down. So we're gonna do that, and then we're gonna do that. And then I think I think we're good. I think we are I think we're good. I think that's actually probably better than what Impa had before. She she should be really glad that I'm here. Oh, you fixed my balloon. Thank you, Link. Will you come with me? It's Always better with a friend to guide you through. Time to head out then. Oh, I nearly forgot. Did you bring the mushrooms? I did, in fact. I did, in fact, Impa. Light a fire there and the balloon will start to float. Then we can be on our way. Okay. So now, what we do is I have a, a special weapon. Oh wait, I have a torch. Never mind, that's even better. That's get out of here, torch. I don't I don't need you. Okay, I just gotta fuse this flame emitter to my soup ladle. And then we can be on our way. Let's get this party started! I detect something. Hmm. That's the stuff, Link. Oh. oh. I see. Oh. Too high. I feel. I feel faint. I'm fighting the hat man right now, uh, but finally I see everything. You know, I read something about dragon tears. Where the tears rest upon the earth, we mark down the image which they gave birth. I don't know how that's relevant, but... Oh, by golly. I'm feeling things. Uh, I don't understand them. Do you know what I might be talking about? Are you, are you high as well? Are you on this journey with me? 
<clears throat> but you know, if the literature is correct, one of them should be quite close, near the geoglyphy or even within its borders. Will you look around? This could be the clue we need to discover Princess Zelda's whereabouts. If you'd like to examine the geoglyph at ground level, you can float down with a paraglider. No need to worry about me. I've walked these streets before. Okay, just to make sure before I jump down. Hidden in the... Okay, so... I think I see it. It's in the hand, right? It's either in the hand or in its left eye, which would be our right. I'm gonna guess... It's right there. I can't really look straight down, but I, I think it's that. And I trust that Impa can, you know, be fine on her own. So hidden in every glyph, apparently. Oh, that's a Korok. It's a Korok? Are you kidding me? Why would they put a Korok? I guess it's... Uh, why would they do that? Okay, so I'm looking for this hidden tier. I don't know. Okay, so Impa's up there. I don't know if I'm supposed to be lifting stuff up. If it's only available to my scope. I'm gonna go up to his head because, uh, what's his face? Whatever his name was, had a, a tattoo of a tear on his, his forehead. So I'm gonna guess it's right here. Right here. Our Monado lights up. Monado hand. I forgot to unequip my, my leaf face. That's fine. So what does this do though? I... I'm trying to think of things that could be upgraded or need to be upgraded, and honestly, the system feels complete on its own. I don't really feel the need, uh, a want for anything. Like, maybe Ultra Hand Range could be cool. Or are these memories? What is it? What? Whoa! What? 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 We teleported. Oh, wait, no. It's Zelda. What? Oh, oh dear. We didn't mean to startle you. I'm sorry. It's okay. My name is Sonia. And could we ask what your name is? I... I am the daughter of King Rome of Hyrule, Zelda. What an unexpected answer. We are the king and queen who founded Hyrule after all. Or at least we were the last time I checked. You two founded Hyrule? And you're the king? Mm. My name is Raru. King Raru of Hyrule. King Raru? And Queen Sonia? Uh, but that must mean... Oh, so it's lore. There's there are aspects of this story that I I haven't grasped. Okay, uh, we had the memories in Breath of the Wild, so this isn't entirely unfamiliar to me. So we're finally getting a glimpse into Zelda's perspective. After disappearing into the depths under the castle, Zelda wakes up and meets two strangers who introduce themselves as King Raru and Queen Sonya. She's left startled by the su by suspicion that she's heard those names before. Okay. All right. Uh, so uh, th uh, I guess it's uh, I guess I was right. We're not. They're not upgrades. Um, they are. They're memories. Link, you look distracted. I. I came down all on my own. 
Wow. <gasps> oh. Goodness, you said you had a vision. That makes two of us. And then Princess Zelda, mm, the geoglyphs, the literature, the shrooms, and now a vision of the lost princess. What if these are all connected? Zelda's never done drugs with me. Let us continue to examine the Petro, uh, the Hyro, the, the geoglyphs. They may contain further clues that lead to Princess Zelda. You know, according to the literature, there's something to do with geoglyphs in the Forgotten Temple, which lies in a canyon somewhere. Okay, so we have our, our next objective. Like I said, this episode, oh, this episode's so gonna, be, gonna be so good. This recording session is gonna be so cool. I'm so excited for this. Because now we're gonna stop doing this. We're not gonna do this anymore. Crom, we have to do something. What do you propose we do? Uh I don't know. <sighs> I see you're awake now. Hey there. <laughs> there are better places to take a nap than on the ground, you know. <laughs> Give me your hand. Welcome back. It's over now. <laughs> 